How to Be a Responsible Adult. Rise and shine, Nick. You've got quite a day ahead of you. Don't forget you volunteered to help with the big church bake sale this evening. Come on, lazy bones. You can't sleep forever. Sure you can, Nick. What's this? Is Nick's alarm clock tempting him to stay in bed? You're so warm and comfy, Nick. Surely a few more minutes won't matter. I'll get you up in time. I promise. Nick? Nick? Oh, you said you'd wake me up. <laughs> Uh-oh, Nick. Looks like you'll have to hurry if you want to get to work on time. Quick, you'll need to shave that ragamuffin face of yours if you want to be taken seriously at the office. Ah, just what you need to get yourself going. A hearty breakfast. Mmm, pastries. Hold on, Nick. When did you buy those pastries? Oh, don't worry. It says right here. Freshness guaranteed. I don't know if that package can keep its promise. And judging by Nick's face, I think these pastries might be lying. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick. You can buy some truly fresh baked goods at the sale tonight. Oh, I sure can. Time is flying, Nick. Looks like you'll have to do without that balanced breakfast. Part of being a responsible adult is getting to work on time. You'd better get a move on. Nick, there you are. We've been waiting for you. Old man Hardy's on the warpath today, if you know what I mean. Oh, does he know I'm late? No, I covered for you. Say, pal, me and some of the fellows are going to the big game tonight. We got swell tickets, just swell. Here's one for you. Oh, gee whiz, these are great seats. Oh, there you are. Mr. Hardy's going crazy. He's got all this stuff for you to do all right. Now, all these got to be filled out into triplicate. That's three, and then filed. Then you got to get all these done. You need to fill these out from the bottom to the top. Mr. Hardy will know if you go out of order, so don't go out of order, Nikki. Just get your work done. At least you got tickets to the big game tonight. Uh-oh, Nick. Looks like you've got a decision to make. Remember the bake sale? You promised Mrs. O'Leary that you'd pick up her 16 dozen cookies and three rhubarb pies. Oh, gee whiz. Well, look at all this work I'm going to do. I deserve to go to the big game with the fellas. What would a responsible adult do? Uh, I know. I'll get some coffee. <laughs> I'll turn your day around, Nick. You're just what I've been looking for, coffee. I don't know, Nick. Talking food has not served you well today. My steaming robust flavor will brighten those droopy eyes. Well, it would have two days ago. <laughs> Oh, old coffee. Has someone failed to clean the coffee pot again? No wonder that coffee's so cheeky. Quick, take a bite of that fortune cookie to get the bitter taste out of your mouth. Oh, 
Oh, well, I could use a good fortune. Couldn't we all, Nick? Couldn't we all? I bet it's that raise old man Hottie's been promising me for months. Congratulations, Nick. You've worked hard for the money, and now it's finally being noticed. Nick! Sounds like Mr. Hardy is back on that warpath. Nick! Better get to his office and see what's going on. Stand up straight and tall, Nick. Be confident. Ah, Nick, you've been a faithful employee these last few years. I think of you as a son, and I hope you know that. A son, someone I'd give anything to. Oh, well, thank, thank you, sir. Well, not really a son. Hmm. More like a nephew. One that I only want to see at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Do you know what I'm saying, Nick? Uh-oh, Nick. This doesn't sound good. You see, Nick, there comes a time in... Every boss's life when his employees are no longer good enough to be called his sons, or even his nephews. In fact, they're not good enough to be called his employees. But I'm going to throw you a bone, Nick, because I like you. Hmm. I tell you what, I've got a prime spot for you in the uh, mail room. Hmm. Half the pay, but twice the work. I know I told you that you had a bright and promising future, but... It turns out that Johnson has a brighter and more promising future. Nick, son, nephew, mailroom guy, have a seat. The last 30 days, he's been late at least 15 minutes on three occasions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just stop! No more. No more lies. If you're gonna make a promise, you better keep it. I think Nick's just discovered an essential part of what it means to be a responsible adult. What do you mean? Well, Nick. How does it feel to be at the receiving end of all these broken promises? Oh, it feels lousy. I mean, how can Mr. Hardy do that to me? He promised. And my coffee, and my pastries, and my alarm clock. Nick, if I'm not mistaken, I think you have a promise to keep. I do? Take the bake sale, for example. How do you think Mrs. O'Leary and her 16 dozen cookies and three rhubarb pies would feel if you broke your promise? Wow, I never thought of it that way. I don't want to hurt Miss O'Leary or her 16 dozen cookies and three rhubarb pies. Oh, do you think being a responsible adult means I gotta give up going to the big game with the boys just to keep a promise? That's right, Nick. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices in order to keep your promises. That's part of what being a responsible adult is all about. So, what'll it be, Nick? Hmm. Miss O'Leary, I'm here for the, the 16 dozen cookies and the three rhubarb pies. Oh, you must be Nick. Grandma said you'd be coming by. Um, my name's Ann. Oh, hello, Ann. Your grandma's pies are going to be a big hit at the bake sale. I mean it, they're the bee's knees. Oh, yeah, a, a bake sale? That sure sounds like fun. Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, well, hey, Ann. How would you like to come to the bake sale with me? Really? That'd be swell. Oh, well, that's great. I'll be right back. All right. Looks like being a responsible adult has worked out all right for our friend Nick. Tune in next time for What Does It Mean to Be a Responsible Spouse?
I'm up with the rooster each morning, pushing my way to the dew, just hustling and bustling for baby, making her dreams come true. Lots of things make me unhappy, now what do I care if they do? While I'm hustling and bustling for baby, making her dreams come true. She'd like to have a little cottage by a brook beside a hill. And I'm so much in love with her, I'm mighty sure she will. So I'm up for the rooster each morning, pushing my way through the dew.